guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine danielle if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you know every single time i upload a new video and the notification bell as well i make all types of lifestyle videos here on this channel from hauls to vlogs to routine videos so if you like that type of content then i definitely suggest you go ahead and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be talking about all the things that i love during the month of june i know we're a few days into july at this point but i wanted to still go ahead and talk about the things that I really loved in the month of June. I did quite a bit of skincare shopping and things like that. So I definitely want to talk about some of those products that you guys have seen me purchase over the last month. One of the first things that I have been loving is actually right behind me and it is this headboard that I purchased from Urban Outfitters. So I actually purchased this during the month of June, even though I didn't get it until the 1st of July, but I'm so glad that it's here, you guys. I'm obsessed with this headboard. I mean, it is just so freaking cute and so nice, and it really tied my entire room together. I also think it like works as a nice background for these videos, so I'm so happy with it. Like, I could not suggest this more if you're looking for that sort of boho, natural, um, neutral, home decor theme in your house or in your bedroom, I definitely suggest that you look at this headboard. It was like $100 and it was on back order when I ordered it, so I don't know what the case may be now, but I will link it down below for you guys so you can check it out if you are interested. So yeah, I definitely would recommend this headboard to anyone. Like it's perfect. So the next item that I love, speaking of home decor items, would be this little porcelain dish that I picked up from H&M Home. It was only $2.99 on their website and if it's still available I will link it down below. You guys know H&M stuff just goes so quickly but I did see this on there for a while before I actually purchased it so like I said if it is still available I will link it down below. But yeah I've just been obsessed with this. I keep this in my bathroom and put my earrings on it just because I, I'm not gonna lie when I ordered it online I thought that it was going to be a bit bigger so I thought I was gonna be able to fit more jewelry on this but it actually really only works for like my small earrings like the ones i'm wearing now so i keep about four pair of earrings on this and i leave it in my bathroom because normally that is where i take off my jewelry like right before i get in the shower or wash my face or anything so it's really convenient to have this in there and it is rimmed with gold if you can tell so I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so the next sort of home decor favorite that I have been loving is this candle. This candle is from DW Candles and it is the Rosemary and Watermelon scent, you guys. This candle is literally one of my favorite candles of life. It, it smells so freaking good. I don't even know how to explain it. It is the perfect hint of rosemary and watermelon. It's not too sweet, but it's also like just sweet enough. I burn this all year round, not just in the summer, spring, like this candle is like what I want my home to smell like. Like this is my signature home scent, I feel like, cause I'm just obsessed with it. So if it is still available, I will link it down below. I did purchase this back in May um, and I purchased like four or five of them because you guys, they're so good. They are a bit price, well, I don't wanna say pricey. I think they're like 18 or something dollars like that. The first time I ever found this it was at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Um, and when you find them in those stores, they're literally only like seven or not between seven and nine dollars. So you are paying more when you purchase them straight from DW Home, but it's worth it because like I rarely see this candle anymore in Home Goods. Like rarely so if you just happen to stumble upon it in there definitely get it otherwise i will have it linked below if it is still in stock hopefully it is i'm sorry if it isn't and i just think the like design of it is really cute like it's like the perfect like neutral pink shade and then it has this like cute gold top with this little like faux crystal on it and i just think it's so cute it's like aesthetically pleasing so even after you burn the candle you could totally just leave this like sitting somewhere or reuse it because it would be a really cute like little I don't know planter or something I don't know girl but like just hold on to it because it's so cute when they go out of stock on DW's website they don't come back for a while and so I just always sign up to be notified when they're back in stock that way I can get them I will say when you do order from DW candle they usually have some sort of discount code so you can typically get it for like 10 between 10 and 20 percent off I would say and that does make a difference especially because it is like $18 candle so just keep that in mind so next, I wanted to talk about a few 
skincare products. You guys know I purchased quite a bit of skincare over the last couple of months and I've been trying everything and using everything up, but these are definitely the ones that have stood out to me the most. So I don't have this one physically. So I'll insert a picture here of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta pads, you guys those things are worth the money like they're so good if you guys remember my skincare video my sephora haul video that i did i talked about how i got the five pack which was 17 dollars and i used it for over 10 days because i use it every other day so you can use them every day but they do recommend when you first try them out that you just use them um every other day that way you know you can see how your skin reacts to it i have pretty tough skin like on my face so i i can usually do things i probably could have done it every single day but i did want to stretch it out just so i could get like a longer use out of them and you guys i'm not even kidding my skin was so radiant and so flawless like i am literally obsessed with those so i definitely will be purchasing them again but because i did have the um Urban Skin RX, it's like the retinol um, pads. They're very similar to those. They do a very similar thing. I'm using those and I really like those as well. So once I use all of those, I will go back and order the Dr. Dennis Gross because I don't feel like it's necessary to have two of the same or similar products. Um, so after I get finished with those, I will be purchasing the Dr. Dennis Gross and I will probably purchase that expensive ass like $80 pack or however much it costs just because the way my skin looked in just 10 days of using that in combination with like all the other skincare that I purchased, like I was shook and I can just only imagine what it will look like over time. But yeah, just wanted to give those a shout out. So next I wanted to talk about this Peter Thomas Roth acne oil free mattifying cleanser i have really really been loving this one of the things that i like about this cleanser is the fact that it doesn't really make my skin super matte and i don't know if that's because i normally use like a serum or something underneath it plus after i use the um, moisturizer i do go over top of that with an spf so my skin never really looks super matte which is totally fine with me um it's crazy if you would have told me when i was 21 that i was going for like a dewy glowy look i would have been like are you crazy I'm so oily but because my skin has changed um, I really do like more of a like glowy look and so I really really like this product because it's lightweight it has um, almost like a liquidy um, well it's not liquidy but it definitely has a more runny consistency thin it's not a super thick moisturizer so I feel like it's perfect for during the day especially during the summertime because I am already piling on other serums and SPF like I do want a more lightweight um moisturizer during the daytime so that way you know my skin feels like it's still able to breathe and i've just been loving this i do feel like i've seen some good benefits of it i do have i've had less breakouts i did have a moment just because i was introducing so many new skincare products that my skin was kind of you know purging a little bit so i did have some breakouts around my forehead and a little bit around my chin but nothing that was too crazy nothing that um was worrisome or lasted long or created any like blemishes or anything so just a little bit of purging that was happening but i've really been loving this product so i would definitely recommend that you try this if you're looking for a mattifying moisturizer that isn't going to like dry your skin out last but not least y'all know i cannot have a June favorite and not mention my baby, <laughs> my YSL card holder, you guys. I'm so obsessed with this thing. I still think this was such a great purchase, such a great investment. Just, I am so happy with this, you guys. I literally, I love it. It's so cute. It makes me so happy. I know like, you know, expensive things, they don't have to make you happy. Not everyone is into name brand items or luxury items, and that's fine. Like, that's not shade or anything, but I definitely am someone, I like nice things, I like luxury items, and I think I saw this, like, little meme or something going around Twitter and was like, black girls, get used to, like, you know, having luxury items. Get used to indulging yourself in luxury because there's nothing wrong with it, and I feel like if you can afford it or if you work hard and you feel like you deserve it go for it girl like you know you don't have to wait for a man to buy you nice things you don't have to wait for someone to give them to you if you can do it do it and fuck what everyone else has to say girl like if you like nice things there's nothing wrong with that and if you don't like nice things there's nothing wrong with that either we are all able to like whatever it is we like and spend our money that we work for on whatever we want to spend our money on so period so yeah i just say all that to say that i have really been loving this item i literally have cards 
literally in all four of these slots. Um, they are a bit hard to get out because remember guys, this is genuine leather and it is, um, it is new, so it's quite hard to get cards in and out of here, but I have seen in other review videos that this, because it is genuine leather, the leather will soften up over time and it will be easier to get things out. Specifically, um, this middle part, because there's four cards in here, like I thought that I could just like squeeze it and it would open and it kind of does, but for the most part, like you do kind of have to wrestle with it to if you have cash in here to get it out. But I don't really carry cash that often anyway, so I'm not that pressed in it. In fact, I have like a couple of quarters in here and that's literally it. Um, so yeah, apparently it will soften up over time and that'll make it a little bit easier to get your cards in and out. But other than that, I have no complaints. I love this item so much. So yeah, I think if you're interested in purchasing it, um, I just say go ahead and do it, girl, because it's worth it. Like, it's super cute and it has so many colors. You'll definitely find one that you like. So, yeah, I'm obsessed. So, yeah, you guys, that is it for my June favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that way I know to do more favorites videos in the future. I just wanted to let you guys know that the day you see this video go up, which will be on Sunday, I will be contacting the winner of my giveaway. So, please be on the lookout for an Instagram DM for me today sunday when you're watching this video um to let you know that you won i'll also announce it on my stories so just be um on the lookout for that if you did enter that giveaway thank you to everyone that entered the giveaway it was so sweet seeing all of your like reasons why you love yourself why you think you're the shit like i love that shit you guys like it was so good and i think we just need to continue to uplift ourselves and uplift one another especially during such a crazy time as this we all we got y'all like if you know, you know. So thank you for entering if you did. And that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.